I feel like a member of the Losers Club, and Pennywise knows exactly what terrifies me. No, I don't know. I guess Jessica Chastain wants to be the damsel in distress. We'll talk about Jessica Chastain, because she's going to show up in just a second. So she rings the doorbell. Bam! There she is! And I was like, I can't believe my luck that Jessica Chastain is not only opening this trailer, but as it turns out, occupies a decent chunk of it. Now, you've seen her desperate tweets. It led to me saying Jessica Chastain has never seen a bandwagon she doesn't want to hop on. And she's like that that girl in school who runs into everybody else's group photos. And you're like, you weren't with this group. We don't want you in the photo. And she's like, too late. I'm here. And when anyone looks at the yearbook, this will be what they remember. Uh, but, you know, for instance, she tweeted about Wonder Woman, an atomic blonde. And you'll note that nobody ever follows up with her. She's never like, here's me with Gal Gadot. Uh, I think, did she corner her like at the Golden Globes or something, right? She's just relentless. Uh, and, and now she's gonna bring down the It franchise and that, right? So while she's smiling at her postcard like a doofus, in the foreground, in the background, Black Adam will be going up against Hawkman. You know, the DC Hawk that doesn't have as many fans as Hawk Girl. The role that even I admit Jessica Chastain was born to play. She's naturally angry, in a bad mood, and has the red hair. I honestly feel she would kill it in that role. Uh, and that was early on in Jessica Chastain's career, before anyone knew just how annoying and unpopular she truly is. But I'm, when everyone was saying that women weren't getting paid enough, Jessica Chastain said, oh yeah, me too, on The Martian. I didn't get paid as much as Matt Damon. Isn't that ridiculous? And you're like, well, he's the star of the movie. And you're like in three scenes. So why would you get paid as much as Matt Damon? It's ridiculous. A supporting role in Interstellar, right? She didn't. She managed not to derail that. Although it was one of Christopher, no you know, significantly underperformed from um, Inception, so, hmm? But that said, she did a good job as a villain. I think it lines up with her actual personality. She was the only one who couldn't sit properly on her stool and was just awkwardly leaning against it. Now, I'm sympathetic, of course, to the women's fashion versus men fashion. All of us women have to go through it. But it's not like this was a surprise that they were going to sit on stools. Conan had the exact same setup last year. I think she's extremely transparent. For instance, she uh, campaigned immediately to get herself in Wonder Woman 2, as I predicted, because I know my Jessica Chastain. Uh, and also, I think she's extre uh, extremely extreme. Like, for instance, she, you know, Jessica Chastain has never met a bandwagon she didn't want to get on. And Kristen Stewart outgrossed her. I would take Kristen Stewart. I would take anyone uh, as uh, adult Beverly Marsh over Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain doesn't have a lot of other friends in Hollywood or with moviegoers. A lot of people don't like Jessica Chastain. Just take a look at her box office number. Something that people in Hollywood should consider when considering casting her. And in this photo that was sent out by Warner Brothers Publicity, Jessica Chastain is conspicuously kneeling as everyone else stands. I'd say she's doing it to pull focus, that she's their biggest star. I think that's totally incorrect. I mean, if you look at her box office, uh, and I'm sure they were kind of like, ooh, did you have to like do such a bad tweet about Game of Thrones this week, right? I told you, she can't help herself. Uh, but she maybe, maybe has the biggest, I don't know, footprint you might say, but her box office numbers are just absolute trash. And so, so, so that's a, that's, by the way, that's a hard thing to do, to smile like to yourself even though you know you're on camera. It's very difficult. Sophia Lillis barely pulls it off. Jessica Chastain, as you're about to see, does not. Very much she's like, oh, don't you feel bad for me? And I'm like, I do not. But I'm calling it now, okay? If they cast her on screen, you're going to get a mix of resting bitch face and Jessica Chastain trying to outact poor Billy Skarsgård. And then, oh, I like Jessica Chastain. Well, I think she's she's an extremist. She's extremely political. For instance, she was at Cannes as one of the jury members. And Will Smith was overshadowing everyone. And instead of Jessica Chastain being like, maybe I should be more fun and pleasant like Will Smith, she decided to be like, oh, I know how to get attention. The way women are depicted in movies clearly sucks based on the slate here at Cannes. And she had like a really bad, sour look on her face. Uh, she didn't, she wasn't even inspiring in her complaints. So that's, and that's kind of like Jessica Chastain in a nutshell. And some people like to say, they're like, what did Jessica Chastain ever do to you? She didn't do anything to me. I've never met Jessica Chastain. I just have a problem, as I said, that I feel like she's never met a bandwagon. She never, she didn't want to jump on. And so, and also, I mean, I think it's funny that lately she's been doing some tweets and you guys will tweet her or retweet it to me and be like, Grace Randolph was right. And I'm like, you know, so I don't do it as much anymore because, 
you know, I've made my point. And I also feel at this point, it makes the point, point makes itself. How you feel about Jessica Chastain. And you know what? I think she's going to convert more of you every day to the drag her side because she just can't help herself. I'm convinced that she's going to make this really, she's going to be a huge wet blanket over the, this whole proceeding. Uh, as evidenced by her reaction to this latest casting news. So you can see her tweet here uh, about James McAvoy and she called him a stalker, hashtag stalker. Not funny, Chastain, because there's a rumor that she's as unlikable in person in Hollywood as she is on the big screen as she comes across. And on that note, she kind of backfired a little bit though, because Sophia Lillis is like the antithesis of Jessica Chastain. She comes across as warm and kind and doesn't have a huge ego. Look, she actually drank from that. Oh, so gross. And her cleft chin. So I think she looks very good in this. That's a beautiful, very flattering shot. But she's so stupid. Okay.